Ubiquitous computing has broken up computation into small pieces that exist on specialized devices. Yet wireless networking acts as a medium that can tie these pieces back together. However, a problem of name that device quickly arises. How do users name the devices to connect? What is the type or purpose of the connection? How do users specify other parameters such as who copies what to where? What users need are simple but semantically rich ways of connecting multiple mobile devices. We are investigating these issues in the context of multiple perceptive tablet PCs. A custom sensor board augments the tablet PCs with accelerometers and touch sensors. Our unique approach to the problem of connecting wireless devices is to use synchronous gestures. Synchronous gestures are patterns of activity from multiple distributed computers that occur together in time. The user can connect a pair of devices by bumping them together. The system recognizes the synchronous hard contact forces sensed by each tablet's tilt sensor. Audio feedback and visual feedback on the screen shows the user that a connection has been established. Moving one tablet away breaks the connection. Since each tilt sensor has two orthogonal sensing axes, the tablets can be connected along any edge. Note there exists a hierarchy in the connections. One tablet is the base, while one tablet is the connecting device. Spurious tilt signals from handling or moving the tablets could generate undesired connections. The system is able to correctly reject many of these noise signals, but not all. Synchronously bumping together a pair of tablets can be used to tile together multiple independent tablets in an interaction technique that we call dynamic display tiling. The connecting tablet temporarily annexes screen real estate of the base tablet. The base tablet then reverts to its previous state when the connection is broken. Two held tablets can be bumped together like clinking glasses during a toast to share information. A user can pour information from one tablet into another one by tilting the device as it makes contact. This allows one-way sharing of information. We have recently extended bumping to work with more than two devices. As each tablet is tiled together with other tablets, the devices propagate a map of all connected devices. Using this, each tablet knows where it is relative to the others and can display the proper portion of a large map, for example. We are also exploring the possibility of connecting multiple devices together with a single bump that is sensed by all. We call this the domino effect. Another scenario for connecting devices revolves around collaboration. Two users facing one another can bump the tops of their tablets together to establish a collaborative face-to-face -face workspace. The tablets show the connection by displaying an icon of shaking hands. Then, when one user draws on the screen, the ink shows up on the other user's tablet as well. Here, unlike dynamic display tiling, users can pull their tablets apart but remain connected. Because each user has his own device, the system supports shared, fully public use as well as separated, semi-private use. This is a unique form of dual display groupware. The tablet senses these transitions between public and private use. For example, when a user angles his tablet towards himself, this reveals a personal area for private notes. Putting the tablet back down hides this area once again, showing only the backs of the cards. This prevents the other user from observing this information. One user may also physically shield the screen from the other user by holding his hand at the top of the screen. This is also sensed, giving the user access to a secret area that is normally inaccessible. To disconnect the computers, one user can draw a slash across the shaking hands icon, or one user can walk away with his tablet. In ongoing research, we are exploring other techniques to connect and configure multiple devices. For example, another approach appropriate for tablet PCs is to use the tablet's pen to make a gesture that spans multiple displays. We call this stitching. Here, stitching allows the user to intuitively copy an icon to a remote machine that is nearby. Of course, wireless signal strengths can be used to sense proximity. One obvious question is why we use bumping or stitching rather than proximity sensing. However, just because two devices are proximal to one another, it does not necessarily mean that users want to connect them. Bumping or stitching offer an explicit step of intentionality that the user has control over. And, as we have seen, our techniques provide semantic richness to the connection. They also specify the type of the connection, whether it's display tiling, collaboration, or copying an icon to another screen. They specify the edges of the display to join. and they specify the direction, that is the connecting versus base tablet distinction. Altogether, our work contributes a novel and intuitive mechanism to form specific types of connections between multiple mobile devices.